Since the massacre on October 7th, the leader of Hamas in the Gaza Strip, Yechia Sinwar, has been on the run. As the IDF advanced in Gaza, the euphoria Hamas and its supporters felt after the mass murder, which Sinwar was the main planner of, was replaced by panic. I'm Yair Pinto, and this is your Boots on the Ground report about what's happening in Israel on this 131st day of the Hamas-Israel war. Last night, the IDF spokesperson's unit released a video in which Sinwar appears together with his brother, Ivraham, his children and one of his wives in a tunnel underneath the Gaza Strip. The timestamp on the video shows that it was recorded on October 10th. The decision to release this video, which was found recently in a tunnel in Khan Yunis, was taken by IDF High Command. It is hoped that this will increase the pressure on Hamas if they know the IDF has gained access to such high-level intelligence information. In recent days, unconfirmed sources in Gaza say that Sinwar is moving from place to place at a dizzling pace, hoping to avoid being confronted by the IDF before the war can be brought to an end one way or another. But the IDF is hunting for him, searching through the tunnel network as he tries to stay one step ahead. This leads to an assessment that his main objective is simply to stay alive. On the other hand, there are also those in the security establishment who believe that the cessation of hostilities, the withdrawal of the IDF from the Gaza Strip and the mass release of security prisoners from Israeli jails are as important to Sinwar as his life. Nevertheless, this is a man who planned a mass massacre of the Jews. I'm sure that his thinking is not rational or normal at this point. Meanwhile, there are negotiations for another hostage deal, but Hamas representatives say that they are unable to contact Sinwar and his men, leading to the possibility that these days he has difficulty conducting secret communications due to the necessity moving so frequently from one hiding place to another. It's important for me to explain Sinwar and the top Hamas leadership in Gaza are not only in a panicked escape underground mode, but the intelligence materials in the hands of the IDF indicate that some of the abductees are with them. Apparently, the terrorists are forcing them to move through the underground maze of tunnels with the leadership as human shields. Here is my point of view on the matter. According to unconfirmed intelligence reports, while searching tunnels in Khan Yunis, the IDF found evidence that Sinwar had recently been present in at least four locations. The investigation of these locations indicate that he was forced to flee each place quickly as IDF troops were getting closer and closer. Scattered reports and observations indicate that Sinwar is not able to keep up with the day-to-day -day functions of leading the Hamas war effort, as his ability to receive reports and send orders is fading. In fact, in my opinion, the only card left in his hands is the live hostages he holds. These poor people also serve him not only as human shields for his own personal safety, but also as a cruel tool in the negotiations to maintain Hamas's power in the Gaza Strip. However, and it's a big however, if Rafah will be also controlled by the IDF and civilian mechanisms are established to administer the civilian population of the Gaza Strip instead of Hamas. This may make it clear to Sinwar that he has nowhere to escape with the hostages. This would finally make him realize that his chances of serving as a political and military factor in the Gaza Strip are zero. From the information I have gathered in the last four months of this war, 
the IDF estimates that around 1,500 tunnel shafts are running underneath the Gaza Strip, stretching for hundreds of kilometers. Sinwar is apparently hiding in places that were prepared in advance for a long period of fighting and surviving, together with senior Hamas terrorists. If he has already escaped from Khan Yunis, it is possible that he is in Rafah, and from there he may also try to escape to Sinai in Egypt through one of the underground tunnels running underneath the Philadelphia Corridor. The fear Israel has is that once in Sinai, he will be able to escape to a Muslim country that will grant him asylum, possibly Iran. This is why the IDF is searching for him so earnestly. And although we haven't caught him yet, we've managed to capture some other high-value Hamas leaders. This includes some of Sinwar's relatives and people in the first circle of senior Hamas officials. IDF spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari revealed yesterday that among the recently captured detainees held by the IDF is the father of Brigadier General of Khan Yunis, Rafe Salma. He is a very high-ranking member of Hamas and the son of Husni Hamdan another one of the leaders of the Hamas formations, was recently captured and promptly told IDF intelligence many things that will help them plan future operations against Hamas. According to Hagari, the IDF examination of the tunnels indicate that Sinwar and other senior Hamas officials are staying in relatively comfortable conditions inside the tunnels with access to food, clean water, and also a lot of cash. This will be particularly important to them if they try to escape to Egypt and beyond because they'll need cash to travel. Hagari sums things up by saying our job is to get to him dead or alive. This is our mission. We will not give the information we know when and how. The message delivered yesterday is critical, not for us, but for the audience it is intended for, the Gazans, and yes, it is also intended for Sinwar and even for Ismail Haniya and other Hamas leaders who live in Qatar, Turkey, and elsewhere. The video has a very clear message conveying to everyone. Sinwar escaped, ran away, was taken away. It illustrates Sinwar's passivity, his helplessness, his ridiculous and pathetic lack of personality. The great Sinwar, the one who makes decisions, your great hero, runs away wearing flip-flops inside the tunnels. Brother and sisters, I urge all of you to pray that this evil that Sinwar represents will be removed from the world. In the meantime, the battle goes on elsewhere in the Gaza Strip in the small Khan Yunus neighborhood of Habsan, a terrorist hideout was uncovered. It contained a large supply of weapons, telephones, grenades, cartilages, uniforms, and combat brochures of the terrorist organization Hamas. Despite the ever-present risk of Hamas attacks, the IDF troops set up a route for the civilians in the area to escape. This was necessary because these poor people are living in a flimsy tent city which Hamas shamelessly uses as a base for their own operations, using Gazan citizens as human shields and using humanitarian aid meant for these civilians for their own purposes. We have found many such camps all over the Gaza Strip and Hamas is responsible for the suffering and hardships that these people are being forced to endure. On Israel's northern border, the situation is described by some as stable instability. The IDF has continued to attack terrorist positions in the Lebanese territory, including positions from which the Iranian-backed Hezbollah organization 
has fired anti-tank missiles and rockets into Israel in recent days. Buildings used by Hezbollah have also been struck in several places. I would like to ask all of you to continue helping us spread the truth by sharing these videos on social media and with everyone you think would like to know the truth in order that together we will pray for the peace of Jerusalem and that God will reign over this region. Thank you for your support, your prayers. We will win this war.